Hey guys, this is Lee here. And have you ever had your sunfish boom fall closer to the deck as you sailed because your halyard slipped on the spar? Well, my friend contacted me with a simple knot solution that he said will not slip, will not need duct tape, and can be easily taken out if need be. Fellow sunfish sailor Hank Siraj has won many events, much more than I can count, and he has been to 23 world championships. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the non-slip, non-tape kneading, keep your rig up halyard knot that's called the Hankster 2. But before I get to the video, I'd like to thank all the subscribers who subscribe to the channel. I would love to live stream from YouTube, and in order to do this, I need a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Please press that button right there, it's easy to do. I plan to bring you new tips and tricks, sailing tutorials, equipment reviews, and more. So if you could please subscribe to the channel, it's totally free. I really appreciate it. So thank you, and now to the video. So I've heard or seen so many sailors have an issue with that clove hitch slipping up their spar, and then what happens is that the whole sailing rig falls onto their deck, or the knot is going to push up their spar and start hitting their sail clip or sail tie, which messes up the sail shape or it messes up the sail itself. Now for recreational sailors who have their sail up higher, if the halyard starts to hit the sail clips, you could lose one, two or three or four sail clips and then eventually it'll start to hit the deck and then your sail will be off the spars. So most experienced sunfish sailors do all sorts of stuff to keep their clove hitch attached to their upper spar. Most of the time people use some sort of tape, electrical tape, duct tape, or gorilla tape. But also if I've heard other people scrape their spars with sandpaper to roughen it up, people start to put wraps and wraps of duct tape around the knot, people bolting on an eyelet so they could actually tie their halyard to a bolted on eyelet. And I think that's the worst thing to do because that bolt can fail or that eyelet can fail and then the whole rig will fall down. I should have just made a knot. Did it hit the bottom of the wall? The wall cut. The shackle broke. Now using tape and a good clove hitch could actually work pretty well. Electrical tape slips the most compared to duct tape or gorilla tape, especially if the electrical tape is put on a slightly damp spar or a spar that's covered with salt. Back in the early 90s, sailors were having failures with the outhaul end cap. Sailors were forced to make some sort of safety knot and Hank Siraj came up with a knot that you wouldn't lose your outhaul in case of an end cap failure. For most of us sailing newer boats or newer parts, the end caps have not failed on a regular basis except if you're John Condon going around the world's longest sunfish race around Shelter Island. But anyway, since the early 90s, Hank also developed this knot that he's gonna show us that does not rely on any tape, any scuffing, or any other things other than the tightness of the knot. And this is called the Hankster 2. He recommends a line that has a very small diameter, non-stretch, it also could have a cover or not a cover. As you rotate it in the correct position, Try to tighten it before you lift up the sail. Now, once it starts being used, it gets tighter and tighter as it's being used. So what the proper place to put the knot is when you lift up the sail, the upper spar is not rotated around itself and you can see that at the tack. So Hank's been using this halyard knot for about 30 years and he said he has never had to use tape ever. And at the end of the video, you could see me tie it on my sunfish. So let's see how Hank ties this knot. I want to show you a knot that's fail safe so you'll never use tape again. From the starboard side of the spar, you want to go underneath and you're going to pull about 10 inches of line with on the loose end. You're going to go around the top of the halyard twice and then once underneath. So you have two loops at the top, one underneath. Take the knot, go through the middle line, like that, and this is what you have. If you're getting any value from this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Two on the top, one on the bottom. And you tighten this knot up, 
it gets tighter and tighter and tighter as this gets up. So when you actually put it up to the mast and you put tension on it, this knot gets tighter. So it will not go away uh, and it will not slip up and down the spar. So there you go. And the best part about it to get it out, just pull your thumb on it, loosen this right here and voila, it's done. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. I'd like to thank Hank for calling me up and sending me the video on how to tie the Hankster 2 and allowing me to share this with everyone in the Sunfish community. Hank has been really helpful and he helps a lot of people in the Sunfish community sail better and sail faster. So if you ever see him at a regatta, don't hesitate to go up to him and ask him a question. Okay, we're going to try to put this Hankster 2 We'll put it at an arbitrary number. We'll do it 60 inches from the top of the metal. He was saying from the starboard side. He goes underneath 10 inches. I have already overhand knot here. Two loops, one, two. That goes above, then underneath for the third one. So it's just wrap, wrap, wrap. Okay. And then you go underneath and here. Okay. Okay. So I bring it down, pull it up. That's the tightness. Pull. That's pretty tight. All right, we'll see how this works. Most people will be able to get underneath that, but a lot of people like to put it even higher. So that's pretty much in alignment. You don't want it to be twisted too much like this. That's what I'm saying. Uh, if the halyard is on its side or too much forward or too much back, it'll twist like this. But you want it there. And because it makes a difference on the head up there, if it twists, then you'll get a twist in the head, which is annoying. It puts undue stress on the sail. So we did tighten it up and it's settled in at 59 inches, but it is coming pretty tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this down all the way on top of this. This one would be at, let's go at 63 to 64 inches for the knot, 63, 64 inches, we're gonna, and which is right above one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, above the seventh sail clip counting from the top. Six, three, six, four inches. I'm gonna lift this and we'll see what happens. Loose neck is about 12 inches from the deck. When the gooseneck is 12 inches from the deck, because of the angle of the boom, it's gonna be really high above the top. It's actually not too bad. It's a comfortable height and it's not too crazy. So after I dropped the sail, the halyard did indeed stay up at about 63 to 64 inches. So thanks to Hank Siraj for showing us the Hankster 2 and let me know how you feel about the knot. Hank is now the president of the RS Aero Class Association and he still sails sunfish actively in big regattas. If you have any comments or questions, please ask them in the comment section down below. I appreciate all the comments and I read all of them. So there you have it. It's the non-slip halyard knot called the Hankster 2. Please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, press that notification bell so you know when we come out with a new video. Thanks and I'll see you on the water. What's it blowing out right now?
Revolution! <laughs>